Hey, Gary. Um, what were the emotions of the last couple of weeks just being out, having to watch the team from the sidelines, wishing you were out there, knowing that, you know, you're one of the best perimeter defenders and you could be out there affecting things? I mean, what was it like for you? Were you chomping at the bit? Uh, yeah, it was, just, it was just frustrating, you know, um, that I can come out there and, you know, just help my teammates. Uh, and it's been frustrating, you know, since the injury. But, uh, like, the last week, I knew I was very close. So it was just anticipation and, you know, just antsy, just ready to get out there. Ron? Ron Karchik from the San Francisco Chronicle. What was the look in Draymond's eyes like tonight? It seemed like he was even more engaged and yapping at everybody. And, and how much did that sort of set the tone for your defense? Absolutely. Uh, we knew our backs were against the wall. Uh, we couldn't go into Boston being down 2-0. So he lit the fire under us. And as this whole season, uh, he lit it and everybody else follows. And tonight was one of those big nights that uh, everybody responded. Anthony on the left. Couple ones. Um, did it hurt when you fell? You know, on that uh, I guess transition. No, no. Did you fall on the left elbow? I tried to tuck and roll as best I could. <laughs> Does the elbow hurt when you're out there playing? No, I don't. It's adrenaline. We're just going. How about the three from the corner? I mean, did, how much have you been able to shoot over the last couple of weeks with your left arm? Quite a lot. Okay. Looks pretty good, doesn't it? <laughs> you hit it. Just, there we go. <laughs> <laughs> CJ up front. Uh, CJ Holmes, San Francisco Chronicle. Gary, what was the difference between the team's intensity in terms of like closing out and defense on the perimeter compared to game one? Just energy and effort. Um, we was kind of soft first uh, in the first game, and that was our emphasis coming out this game and just being aggressive. You know, and just being the playing warrior basketball that we know how to play and and just be locked in on our defensive. You know, our assignments and no personnel. Let's go to Barry in the middle here. What's up, Barry? What did your dad tell you about playing in the finals? Did you, did you have any discussions with him about that? Absolutely not. I seen him when I checked in in the game. He was in over there in the corner with Detlef. And he just shook his head, and I said, yeah, I know that, that means it's time. So, you know, go to work. No discussion. Any other questions for Gary? Melissa, we'll go back to you. Hey, Gary, uh, Steve said that Steph doesn't really get enough credit for what he does on the defensive end. Um, I'm curious if you agree with that and just how much he impacts the game on that end from your perspective. Um, Steph is a two-way player. You know, he, he does a lot on the other side, but he does a lot on the defensive side too. He's in the right spots at the right time. He, he had, what, three steals tonight. You know, he's just in the right spot at the right time. Um, and he talks, to, he talks to his teammates. He's vocal. And he leads by example on both sides of the court. And, you know, I guess guys don't see it, but we see it on this team for sure. Last question to Ann. Gary, speaking of that, um, Ann Killian with the San Francisco Chronicle. Toward the end of the game, the two of you were standing on the court, had towels over your head, talking. I was just wondering if you could share kind of what, what was going on in that little moment with Steph. Uh, I was just asking him how his golf swing was. <laughs> yeah, that was about it. He said it looks pretty nice, so you guys might want to check that out. Thanks, guys. Thank you, Gary.